want to talk about the smash and particularly how to generate power in the smash. The most important thing when you are doing your smash and you want to generate as much power as possible, it's important that you use your whole body and not just your, your, your overarm. And just hit with like a flat arm. So when you want to generate power, you have to, the movement starts all the way down in your hips. That's why you have to have the side to the net. Then you will move your hip in front. If you're right-handed, you will take the right side of your hip, push that forward. Afterwards, you'll have to make like this tension in your stomach that pulls your arm with, and then the elbow will come afterwards, and then your underarm will be t get some, some kind of tension because of you, pull, you pushed your elbow in front of you, and then afterwards you will rotate your underarm, and then you will go from your relaxed grip and use your fingers to, ten, to like get the last power out in your fingers. So the whole movement here starts with from your hips, goes through your stomach, up to your shoulder, to your underarm, and down through your fingers. So you have to like use all these steps to get the, the power in your smash. So if I didn't use any of these, I would stay flat like this, stomach towards the net, hit with a straight arm, and just stand like this. I think uh, Knudy had you, uh, showed it once when you stand just like this, only use your, your wrist. You can't really generate that much power. But if I stand with the sides of the net, push my hip in front of me, tension in my stomach, then my elbow comes, and then my arm, and then my grip. I will have this fluid boost that look like this. One of the most important things when you're doing the jumping smash is that you use your stomach as much as possible. You try to use like arch in your back and your stomach, so you do like this. Not just a flat um, stomach and back. You have to arch like this, so you can use all the tension. Yes. That's also why you see it's not the, the muscles, the big O-arms that have the, the hardest smashes. If you can look at uh, Carsten Mogensen, for example, he's not a big tough guy, but he has one of the toughest smash in the world because he's so good at using every muscle fiber in his body to get a powerful smash. <laughs> so an exercise you can do for yourself if you don't have a partner to practice with, you can just uh, put a camera up, for example, film yourself so you can see what you're doing. Then I would uh, just stand here on the service line and uh, look, right now I'm doing something wrong. I have in the front towards the net, but that's okay. I just still want to generate as much power from my hip by doing this. Go the power transferring through my stomach to my shoulder, to my elbow, to my arm, to my fingers. Then I just want to generate as much power as possible. what to do and what not to do. And then uh, first I will show you exactly what not to do. Stand in front of the net, don't use my hip, don't use my stomach, don't use my elbow. So straighten the elbow, tighten my grip and flatten my stomach and hip. See, I can't really hit that much power. And here I will show you what to do. So right now I have my, the side to, my, to the net, so my uh, racket leg is behind me. I'll put my weight on that leg Use my hip to push forward, tension in my stomach, push, push my elbow forward, use my underarm, rotate my underarm, and make some tension in my grip. So it will look like this. <laughs> 